In Team Fortress 2, a game that we all know and love, there are unlockable weapons that can change how the classes are played or just simply aid them in their gameplay perspectives. Some do a good job at doing exactly what the end description says, while others are either just terrible or not fun to play with or against. The Quiricola for the scout is a weapon, or well, an item, that is both terribly designed and not fun to play with and against, and here's why. Just like in my shortstop video, that has reached a number of views I would honestly did not expect, thank you, we should look back at what the Quiricola used to do. That's right baby, it's history class time. The Quiricola was added in the game with the April 28, 2010 update, the day before the 119 update. And the item was simple. After drinking it, all damage you deal and receive are mini crit for 6 seconds. Back then, the Quiricola rewarded scouts for letting their shots and avoiding damage while punishing bad scouts. It was a high risk, high reward item. Then its attributes changed back in the Paramania update on June 27, 2012. For some odd reasons, the devs thought that making the fastest class in the game even faster by giving it plus 25% increased movement speed during the buff was a good idea. Oh, and they increased the duration from 6 seconds to 8 seconds. This completely invalidated the separation of good scouts and bad scouts, simply because of the added mobility. Bad scouts can easily avoid the mini crits damage they would normally receive simply because they were too fast. Oh, and the scout can go even further beyond thanks to the baby faces blaster that was added with this change. Think fast, chuckle nuts! And if you think that is bad, not even a month later, they remove the mini crit damage taken and change it into increased damage received by 25% and later reduce it to 10% on December 20th of 2013. Soon enough, the Quiricola became the Palm Stomper unlock. Scouts were going ham left and right, getting kills they absolutely did not deserve because the downside of this item is non-existent. The plus 10 increased damage received was a laughing stock, and the community started asking if the devs are as brain dead as humans rejecting humanity and going back to monkey. Go back! I want to be monkey! Then on the meet you match update. They added the mark for death after the buff expires, which sounds good, but the main problem with this is the fact that the debuff only lasts for 2 seconds, and also good scouts can just run away from combat before the buff is over to avoid the mark for death damage thanks to the increased movement speed. There was absolutely no reason to use the Kuda unless you are playing competitive. Fortunately, on October 20th of 2017, the Jungle Inferno update dropped and change the attributes of the Kurakula again. Now each attack you do while the buff is active will apply the mark for death debuff for 5 seconds. They also removed the bullshits like increased movement speed and the damage taken penalty while it is active. So basically the Kurakula was almost reverted to what it was back on release. Now the history class is over with, you might be wondering why I consider the Quiricola to be badly designed in TF2. Unlocks with bonus damage advertised in the description have either a drawback or require some conditions to be met to utilize it. Let's take Soldier and his unlocks for example. The direct hit is a strong rocket launcher in the game simply because of the 20% bonus damage and mini crit on airborne targets. But the drawbacks of these upsides are the 70% less explosion radius, meaning you lose the crowd control capability and the projectile speed despite being an upside list in the description, it could take a while to get adjusted to it. These downsides are meant to balance out the upsides and to prevent it from being a straight upgrade. You need to have good aim to use the weapon, you need to time your shots, you need to adjust your aiming, and that is completely fine. This is a good example of a weapon with bonus damage that has a drawback or two. Holy shit! For the item with conditions to be met, let's take a look at the buff banner. The buff banner is a secondary item that allows the soldier to grant him and his team mini crits for a short period of time. This item has some conditions to be met which are the following. 
Need to deal 600 total damage to fill up the meter. Good team coordination to make effective use. And stay alive in order to use it since you can technically die while the buff banner is active. An item that can increase your team's DPS and help you with pushing requires these types of conditions to be met so the extra damage are rewarded properly to the player. Many other weapons have one of the two concepts I mentioned, such as the Brass Beast, Huahang Heater, Flare Gun, Machina, Frontier Justice, Backscratcher, Flagestinator, and much more. Now for the Kurakola. There is not a single drawback no conditions to be met to, to make effective use of it. It is free mini crit damage that can be used at any time and anywhere. The counter argument to this is the sniper's Jarati since he can help his team and deal critical hit with the bushwhacker. But that is an invalid argument since it requires the sniper to hit the targets with it and the medic can simply wash that away with their medigun. A good scout that knows all the flank rods can be a threat if he uses the Kurakura. Classes he normally two shots can now be one shot from a scanner gun with the Kurakura. The scout can deal up to 142 damage and mini crits if he flanks. And if you think that is bad, you can deal up to 153 damage with the force of nature, effectively killing the medic in one clean shot. Not to mention, mini crits ignore damage fall off just like critical hits. When the scout can one shot a medic with both the force of nature and the scatter gun, just because he drinks some shitty off brand Mountain Dew, this is not really considered balance. If it was a sniper who one shot the medic, that is completely fine be because the sniper must have good aim and patience. The scout can just ignore everything, go up to the medic's face, and wish him a happy respawn time. And with all of that, that's a wrap. Hopefully I was able to convince you that the Kurakura is not fine in its current state. Sure, you may see a couple of scout players failing miserably when using the Kurakura, but once you run into a scout main that knows all of the possible flank routes, he can be a threat if he's using the Kura Kura. What about you? Do you like the Kura Kura? Do you hate it? Do you think it should be changed? Let me know in the comments and I'll answer them. I apologize for my absence. Courage kept me busy. Originally, I made this script back in August 2020, but in September my hard drive died and I didn't do any backup. I'll try to upload more often whenever I can. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.